In this video, I'll share three headlines with you, beginning with this one from Crypto Basic. Wallets with more than 0xRP experienced a 102A increase, reaching over 5 million. And people, just wait till you see the precise moment when this happened. Adoption of XRP is incredibly soaring, in spite of the nonsense that cryptocurrency holders have recently been subjected to, most notably from the SAC. Oh my god, those pricks. Could this be a crucial statistic to take into account when assessing XRP's long-term viability? I believe so. Check out the headline from you today. XRP whales surpass a new 10-year benchmark. Additionally, the CTO of Ripple disclosed a calculated entry into the $10 trillion cryptocurrency custody industry. I find it intriguing how Ripple is changing, and part of the reason I want to share this piece with you is because of growth. In the end, that's a good thing, but public messaging is evolving. It's not only about cross-border payments anymore. Yeah, we're a fintech company, Brad Garlinghouse begins by saying, yeah, we're a crypto company, enterprise-level stuff like that. Not even something that would directly affect XRP. I do not believe for a second that this indicates a decrease in their interest in XRP. Actually, all of the publicly accessible statistics and information they provide point to XRP's continued use as a bridge currency. It is clear that Ripple values it more. Ripple is merely doing other things on top of that. At least, that's how it appears to me. I do want to be clear though, before we move forward, I don't have any form of financial experience. I'm not a financial advisor, and anything I say should not influence you to purchase or sell anything. Am I right? I'm just a hobbyist who likes to create YouTube videos about various crypto-related subjects for fun. Thus, to reiterate the headline, the number of wallets with more than 0xRP has increased by 100 to over 5 million. Information, the number of people in the cryptocurrency market with more than 0xRP has risen by 102 in the last three years and now stands at more than 5 million. In a recent post on X, prominent market intelligence analyst sentiment alerted the public to this development. Sentiment announced in the post that the XRP ledger, with 5.2 million unique wallets, had reached a noteworthy milestone. These are wallets that have XRP currency in them that is not zero. In the XRP ledger's more than 10 years of public trading, this amount, according to the announcement, represents a record high. Sentiment also noted that during the previous three years, the proportion of wallets with non-zero XRP holdings has more than doubled. More specifically, since February 10th, 2021, this count has climbed by 104. That was around three years ago, my friends. About three years ago, as you know, something happened. This occurs immediately following Ripple's SAC lawsuit, which is essentially an assault on all of its XRP holders. Ever since then, you have increased by over twice as much. Additionally, XRP lacked legal certainty for practically the entire duration of that time. As you are well aware, we didn't receive that until July of last year. But isn't that beautiful? Indeed, I'll show you the XRP Rich List webpage right now. You can view an example of this by going back to April 2022. April, I apologize. Yes, that is correct, isn't it? Yes, it is correct. Thus, to clarify, I did indeed say that. All right. Yes, you are able to view its appearance. It continued to intensify. It's amazing. Because in all likelihood, that was the worst thing that could have happened to the community as a whole and had an effect on the entire XRP ecosystem. That's the actual event. However, adoption keeps going. This has some validity. We might be onto something, in my opinion. This place is very incredible. Furthermore, it appears to me that we have 10 years ahead of us. The network effect is attained. Real-world utility exists. It's not heading in the incorrect direction. In fact, they also mentioned that it has increased by 300 in the previous five years. And once more, I apologize. Let me tell you, there are just over 5 million XRP wallets. And I recall that there were fewer than 700,000 in cryptocurrency when I first started investing in it in 2017. See where we've come thus far. Therefore, I believe that by the time we reach a new, exuberant stage in a market cycle, it will simply, I'm not sure how it couldn't, dwarf in terms of price action and market activity. How it didn't surpass the events of late 2017 and early 2018, when XRP reached a new all-time high, is beyond me. That's just difficult to comprehend. Let's face it, 
If Bitcoin has reached a new peak, then all appears well from a macro perspective. And XRP has reached this degree of popularity. What? It didn't really happen. That simply seems almost incomprehensible to me. And the whales? Well, they kind of know what's going on, especially the splashy ones that are becoming aquatic af. This is the article from you today. I have no desire to read it in its entirety. Since they're also discussing data from sentiment, I just want to make one quick note about this. And they write, the XRP ledger now boasts 5.2 million wallets that contain more than zero XRP coins, according to Santiment's most recent tweet. According to the research, there have been more whale addresses than at any other time in XRP's more than 10 years of public trading. Okay, how about we do that? I was excited to see what would happen in 2024 because of this. I'll admit that it's possible for things to turn really negative, which would be awful, but overall I think there's a good chance we'll see some incredible fireworks later in the year. And given the status of things I've been talking about in recent videos, the first half of the year might even be exciting. However, that isn't the goal of this video. I won't go over everything again, but I have a sincere sense of optimism about the near and medium term in particular. We XRP holders should finally receive ours, in my opinion, but we'll have to wait and see. The CTO of Ripple has disclosed a strategic partnership with Medeco SBC to enter the $10 trillion cryptocurrency custody industry. Look, this is really good. This makes sense for Ripple to diversify for the same reason that having all of your crypto eggs in one basket is a terrible idea for maximalists in general. Because if you're wrong about just one cryptocurrency, you'll miss out on this entire once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to benefit from the abundance of life that cryptocurrency delivers. It can be beneficial to have some diversity. I can therefore see reasoning along similar lines and conclude that Ripple is merely attempting to secure the long-term survival of their business. They are therefore proceeding with on-demand liquidity, using XRP as a bridge currency. And all of that jazz, as you are probably aware, but they are also undertaking other work that will undoubtedly be necessary if the crypto asset class gains traction. The article says the CTO of Ripple has shared details about the company's calculated entry into the estimated $10 trillion cryptocurrency custody industry, where major competitors like HSBC and Medico are present. He made the comment on the topic in a recent Thinking Crypto podcast interview. In particular, the talk clarified Ripple's purchase of the custody-focused company Medico. The host brought up the news from the previous year regarding Ripple's purchase of Medico and its subsequent collaboration with the world's largest bank, HSBC. He wanted to know the specifics of these changes and if HSBC would be using the XRP ledger in its business processes, taking a different tack. Schwartz revealed that Ripple's desire to become a one-stop shop for institutional cryptocurrency adoption was the impetus for the company's move to enter the custodial arena. He emphasized how crucial it is to provide a platform that allows for tokenization payments and access to the XRP ledger. A secure custody solution, he pointed out, was an essential part of this strategy. I'll just take a moment to address this, and it's a totally valid concern that he posed. However, can you picture Ripple being taken into custody, XRP having absolute legal clarity across the whole damn world, and then XRP being excluded from that for some reason? Therefore, it's still beneficial to have confirmation for Ripple from someone. All I'm saying is that it will indeed exist. Anyway, the story goes on. Additionally, Schwartz stated that organizations wishing to enter the cryptocurrency market would initially contact a supplier that offers custody, liquidity services, payment options, and connectivity to one, and off-ramps. And he declared, quote, By incorporating custody, Ripple will become the industry's top enterprise solution provider. Therefore, could it be advantageous for XRP if he is correct in that assessment, Ripple finds himself in that position, and they happen to be strong proponents of XRP. Once more, I believe the answer to be yes. The piece goes on. Based on this supposition, the CTO of Ripple said that, following an assessment of multiple firms, Ripple procured Medico in May 2023. In his own words, at a quarter of a billion dollars, this was Ripple's biggest acquisition to date. Schwartz also emphasized the importance of the projection that it will reach $10 trillion trillion by 2030. Schwartz stated, Custody is a huge market with projected growth of roughly $10 trillion by 2030 
and tokenization trends indicate that this market will only continue to expand. Thus, consider that. Consider the current market capitalization, which is between 1.5 and 1.6 trillion. In six years by 2030, $10 trillion. Naturally, a lot will depend on where we are in the market cycle at the time, as there will still be some volatility by then, albeit less than it is now. Because of this, though, it's best to avoid being overly mired in the details of daily life when it comes to the emotional aspect of cryptocurrency ownership, as it has the potential to completely devastate people. However, if you simply consider the larger picture, Ripple is quite certain that it will be that significant by 2030. And regardless of how big that pie gets, don't you believe XRP will get a piece of it? Is XRP not going to be among the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization? I don't understand why that wouldn't be the case, but there's no guarantee. It will go unnoticed because, well, it's quite good at what it does. Furthermore, it is evident that the entire cryptocurrency community has come to the conclusion that a cryptocurrency that excels at payments in general has a place. Fortunately for XRP, the XRP ledger itself is incredibly functional. As a result, there are a ton of alternative uses for XRP. The first built-in decentralized exchange in history is the built-in exchange. Additionally, there will be other things, including posting as collateral and sidechains, among other things. There are numerous things on the horizon. You know the most recent NFT features. I'm guessing the automated market maker will eventually be allowed. That will increase awareness of the area and the XRP ecosystem in particular. Thus, there are undoubtedly many reasons to be hopeful. And this is just going to get bigger. This is the reason I approach cryptocurrency the way I do. By purchasing things and then doing nothing with them. I'm just attempting to have a look at it. That's why. The more I interact with people and assume different roles, the greater the chance that I will make mistakes and err. I therefore just buy things and then do nothing but sit back and watch. I use my XRP in this manner and I predict that it will be quite valuable. I'm betting on that. We'll investigate as a group. I'm not a counselor for finances. Nothing I publish should influence you to buy or sell anything. That would be an extremely awful idea indeed.